these are the various surfaces which we have we have discussed that uh, sequence stratigraphic surfaces serve as a boundaries for the system tracks our sequence are divided into system tracks on the basis of sequence stratigraphic surfaces here you can observe that the uh, this underlying curve lines indicate sequence boundary type 1 these are the fans which deposited during the formation of sequence boundary type 1 and these are the erosional features after that suppose this is sea level cycle now type 1 sequence boundary deposit during the fall now due to fall these fans basin floor fans slow fans the low stand wedge in short the low stand system tracks developed due to the during the fall of sea level during this stage of sea level now what is next next after sea level fall there is transgression so during transgression the end of regression is represented by the transgressive surface so above the lhd there will be transgressive surface and above the transgressive surface system tracks develop and above the transgressive surface transgressive system tracks when there is maximum rise of sea level the maximum rise of sea level is represented by the mfs here you can observe that this will be ms mfs for the transgressive system track now after maximum flooding surface there is slow sea level rise and then stand still for the some time and then start of regression so this stage of sea level cycle will be then represented by the high stand system track or in this stage the system track which developed is termed as high stand system track and above the high stand high stand system track have maximum flooding surface at its base and above which there will be because there will be another start of another fall so there will be formation of sequence boundary generally shelf margin wedge is also termed as part of high stand system track so above the high stand system tank due to sea level fall there will be either type 1 sequence boundary or type 2 sequence boundary depend upon the sea level fall if fall occur below that half life break point then type 1 sequence boundary will form if above the sea above the half life break point then type 2 sequence boundary will form and remember if there is formation of type 1 sequence boundary then after type 1 sequence boundary again low stand system track will develop and this cycle of deposition continues 